Hey everybody, it's your old pal John, and today we're going to be talking about the 10 most hated towns in England, and I will probably for the next couple videos just say I do have merch that Bob, I forget, Bob whatever it is, uh, said uh, you should make a shirt that says Americans suck at history. So I did. Feel free to grab one. Here we go. 10 most hated towns in England. No matter how good a country is, every part of it can't be loved equally. In fact, some parts of it are bound to be hated. Even the most fanatic lover of a country will love some parts of it less than others. That's fair. I have heard some people complaining about some towns in England, the home of the Queen, that some people are dying to live and work in. That prompts research into the 10 most hated towns in England. This ranking is based mainly on the comments and complaints of residents of England and visitors to those towns. But it's not limited to that since some complaints can be completely baseless. We dig deeper in researching these 10 most hated towns in England. 10. Slough Let's begin with Slough, a okay. town in Berkshire within the historic county of Buckinghamshire. This town is 20 miles west of central London and 19 miles northeast of Reading. You will find the town in the Thames Valley and within the London metropolis around the area at the intersection of the M4. In spite of its location, Slough, according to those visitors, is a town whose streets are littered with empty takeaway and full of packets or empty beer cans. This assertion oh. hasn't been contradicted by even just one resident. The quality of food in the town's restaurants appears kind of made for losers who are just about to eat as much unhealthy food as they can get away with. Nine. It just sounds like that town needs to be cleaned and maybe the cuisine needs to be updated. And these are the most hated towns in England. Okay. I guess I can understand that it's hated if you don't want to clean it up. Uh, especially if you live there. Okay. Scunthorpe. It's not desirable to find Scunthorpe among the most hated towns in England. Unfortunately, we can't afford to take it out of our list because the facts obviously place it there. This industrial town in the Unitary Authority of North Lincolnshire should normally be the pride of Lincolnshire as its main administrative centre. But the town with an estimated population of 82,334 in 2016 had many things going against it. Residents of the UK's largest steel processing centre, also known as the Industrial Garden Town, are frustrated by a lack of the liveliness and diversity in the town only known for work. However, the loudest grouse that lists Scunthorpe alongside the most hated towns in England is the indiscriminate censorship and blocking of websites for spurious reasons. Okay, that actually does make sense. Um, we have a lot of places here in, in the USA and uh, the... Um, their former, um, like coal mining towns that have now gone defunct. Um, if you look at a city like Detroit, uh, automation and things like that, uh, have, uh, have killed downtown, have killed almost all of Detroit. Uh, it's where, you know, the GM has their headquarters, Chrysler, Ford, that kind of thing, basically. It's where the main American automobiles come from so many people have just left the city it is in such disarray so I mean you know and we also don't do as much steel refining anymore and I believe neither neither does Great Britain um, if I'm not mistaken even you know coal is pretty much out and they've sort of deferred it to other countries to make them like China and other steel producing places and unfortunately, that does leave workers without work, and then they have to go somewhere else. We have tons of it. And as a matter of fact, now in Pennsylvania, we call it the Rust Belt, um, which is an area where, well, you've, you've guessed it. It's just sort of, it's rusted out. Uh, so, hey, I get that. Eight, did caught. Let's next analyse Didcot, a railway town that is also a civil parish in the ceremonial county of Oxfordshire. Also in the historic county of Berkshire, Didcot is 15 miles south of Oxford and 10 miles east of Wantage. The town noted for its railway heritage is just 15 miles northwest of Reading, with its station opening as a junction on the Great Western Main Line back in 1844. This town of Didcot is probably the most aggressive in England. You're left to agree with one or contest that. 
but travelling through the station for which it's known today will put you in confrontation with touts and gangs who mean not exactly good for passerby. You'll see them jumping onto trains passing through. You surely would hate the town where anybody can just violently ask you to give up your seat on the train. You know, it seems like a lot of things happen near Reading, and I'm not going to lie, if you look at Pennsylvania, we have a large town called Reading. And it doesn't exactly make the top 10 list for the nicest places in Pennsylvania. It's the other top 10 list. And it seems like there's something with that name uh, that's associated with it, I guess. 7. Stevenage. Stevenage is a large town that should qualify for city status, but hasn't been recognized as such because it has nothing good to make it lovable. It's a borough in Hertfordshire, 29 miles north of London. It is east of junctions 7 and 8 of the A1M. It is located between Letchworth Garden City and Welling Garden City to the north and south respectively. According to residents, greeting others with eye contact can be considered offensive in this town. That's why it's a town where you have to keep your head down when walking. Additionally, it's terribly depressing. 6. Chatham Why would you... That just seems like the people there are just mean. Or just a whole bunch of introverts that have violent tendencies. God, it, you know, our cultures are sometimes are so vastly different because here in the States, you know, a lot of times if you walk by somebody and you it's not very busy, you go, Hi. And it's just what you do. Um, the eye contact just kind of comes with that. Are you surprised that Chatham also is one of the hated towns? Not Located really. Located within the Unitary Authority of Medway in North Kent and South East England, Chatham is a town developed around Chatham Dockyard. Honestly, considering the military oh. history and connectivity of the town that is also built around several army barracks, you won't be quick to consider Chatham as one of the 10 most hated towns in England. The 19th century forts have provided a defensive shield for the town's dockyard and the core of Royal Engineers' presence is still felt there. Yet those who have lived long enough there have pains and regrets about their town on the basis of such factors like the competition from Blue Water. That enough has a far-reaching effect to overshadow every good thing about the town. Interesting. Five. Yeah, I've known. Usually seaside towns that are old um, and then kind of like abandoned by the military and abandoned by the military kind of get that way. Uh, we've We've had a lot of those for our like our World War II industrial uh, towns, uh, like Mobile, Alabama being one of them. Um, it was a huge influx, you know, of work for the for the military, for creating all the, a lot of the um, uh, transport ships that would, you know, cross, uh, well, to Great Britain during the war. Um, and then when it shut down, the city went into kind of just chaos. Huddersfield. Well, not all of Huddersfield is hated. It's just that we can't readily figure out what it is to be loved about the town. We just have to agree with the <laughs> residents who say only 70% of the historic county of Yorkshire in Northern England is bad. The town, lying in the valley of the River Colne, is gaining more negative votes from the reviewers. They, not we, say that there's no other thing apart from pound shops and a few coffee shops in the town, adding that it's polluted and unclean. If you oh. want to migrate to Huddersfield, those who hate it with passion say you have a minimum of three kids and at least one of them must be genetically almost unrelated to the other two. According to them also, you must have a BMI greater than 30 and you must be ready to lose your wallet or cell phone any time. Okay, that... All right. It does sound sort of like the Detroit, Chicago area. It's, uh, you know, we have, I don't know if you've had actually heard about this. There was a town that had its water tested and it was horrible. People were getting cancer from it. Um, you know, the pipes were put in in like the 1920s or 30s or something like that. And I can't remember the name of the town. But it turns out that there are a lot of places like this. But that place was just like, you know, you look at all that stuff left over from, for us, World War II is is um, the kind of history where they've been making things and changing things. But asbestos, um, you know, all sorts of these, like, you know, things that they would use in the 50s and the, in the 60s that turns out they're not really all that good for you, uh, like lead pipes and uh, things like that. And they make you rather sick and, you know, and... 
of course, when that happens, you also get people not saying anything good about it. But Americans have a tendency to be very extremely negative when one bad thing goes wrong. But what the hell? Four, Luton. For clarity's sake, we're not here referring to the entire borough of Luton in the ceremonial county of Bedfordshire. We're picking Luton. Clarity's sake. There's a. There's a. There's a. On the very town of Luton, as one of the most hated towns in England. In this town in southeast England, if you venture out on a dark winter's night, you need special grace to return peacefully unhurt. If eyes can shoot from their socket, almost 1,000 arrows will be shot at you as eyes get glued to you. Some of them are muggers weighing you up in the shadow, while others may be prostitutes and yet others are crackheads. In short, people hate the town where their wives and daughters aren't so free to move any time of the day. Dude, that sucks. That does. That actually does sound like South Chicago or Detroit or actually now LA, parts of LA and and, and Seattle. Um, although I see nothing wrong with prostitutes. Three, Corby. The third most hated town on our list is Corby, a town in North Northamptonshire. This town, located 23 miles northeast of the county in central England, is. I'm sorry, but North Northamptonshire just. Uh, and this is aside from the video, that just sounds like it's extremely north. Like there's no northern north. There's no further north. Uh, I just like the names. And everything is sheer or shire. The nightmare of the entire Northampton. Though it is served as a borough of Corby's administrative headquarters from 1974 to 2021, the town has been unsatisfactory to both residents and visitors. In this conurbation, it's like people kind of care less about the cleanliness of their vehicles as they go everywhere they please on their dirt bikes. Two. Okay. Dover. Our really? search for the most hated towns in England brings us next to Dover, a town and major ferry port in Kent. The town in southeast England faces France across the Strait of Dover at the narrowest part. Just because it faces France doesn't make it bad. Part of the English Channel, it's 21 miles from Cap Grenet in France, and it's lying southeast of Canterbury and east of Maidstone. This town, serving as the administrative centre of the Dover district, has been receiving knock after knock as okay. the worst town in England. The residents are constantly being reminded that they're left behind. Analysts have scores of reasons to believe that this home of the port of Dover may disappear off the face of the Kent coast. One. Aylesbury. At last, we have the winner. The most hated town in England is none other than Aylesbury. I've this never heard of it. This is a historic town, an underdog in Buckinghamshire. Only oh. a few things, if anything, are working for Aylesbury, and we have no gain mentioning that again. Everyone polled in a Facebook post voted this town as the most hated. Some even wow. urged others to join them in castigating the town with traffic jams at every corner and with nothing to compensate for your gaze that remains glued to boring sights. This list of the most hated towns in England is surely not of our own ranking. Well, what do you guys think? Is anyone from any of these towns or has anyone been to any of them? I mean, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, most of them I haven't heard of, especially North no, Northshire. Uh, it sounds cold. That's all I can say. Um, I am a little surprised about the Dover area, but I mean... I guess I, I guess I just kind of thought that, I mean, well, wherever you go, there are going to be bad places. What are you going to do? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm kind of interested in, uh, <laughs> this, this was an interesting video for me, I think. I'll talk to you all later.